we're going to talk about this bad boy, an ion thruster. Nice sparks coming off of that. Oh, is that cute or what? Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it from turning and we'll take a look at the uh, uh, ions coming off of the uh, end of those wires or Ooh. can't go anywhere because I have that telephone pole in the way but look at that ion stream coming out of there I'm going to uh, show you something here it'll actually blow this It'll actually blow this torch out. Could you, could you push me as hard as I'm going to feel from one of these thrusters? I can try. Okay, I'm ready. I can take it. I barely felt that. So he's cranking down the volume, uh, vacuum, slowly pulling the vacuum down, still spinning, still has the ion, the ability to create the back, uh, the back pressure. Yeah, it's slowing down, isn't it? It is an interesting experiment, that's what he just said. Still got a little bit of movement, but not quite vacuum yet. There you go. Gee. See, I guess NASA can get a rocket in a spacecraft to move around out in space, but you can't even get a fucking paperclip to spin in a vacuum chamber? What's so special about an ion thruster? What makes it different, and how does it help us get through the solar system? Let's go talk to an expert. Alright guys, we found our expert. This is Mark Raymond. Hi Mike. Mark, where are we? We're at a vacuum chamber here at JPL where we test ion engines like this one. Can you explain what makes an ion thruster different than other types of thrusters? With ion engines, instead of heating the gas up or putting it under pressure, we give the gas xenon a little electric charge. And then they're called ions. And we use a big voltage to accelerate the xenon ions through this metal grid and we shoot them out of the engine at up to 90,000 miles per hour. And they're going out so fast that each individual ion gives a relatively large push back on the spacecraft. So if I'm the spacecraft, could you, could you push me as hard as I'm going to feel from one of these thrusters? I can try. Okay, I'm ready. I can take it. I barely felt that. That's right. The engine pushes on the spacecraft as hard as this single piece of paper pushes on my hand. In the zero gravity, frictionless environment of space though, gradually the effect of this thrust builds up. At full throttle, it would take Dawn four days to accelerate from zero to 60 miles per hour. Wow, that is a slow car, isn't it? <laughs> it is, but instead of thrusting for four days, if we thrust for a week or a year, you can build up fantastically high velocity. It's what I like to call acceleration with patience.